Hey family, what's going on? It's Watchman Adam here with a video. Man, today we're going to be talking about the upcoming one world religion and Pope Francis. I got an article from now, TheNBegins.com, I want to share with you. And man, all this just points and shows you how crazy the world's getting and how close we are to the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Before I go into the video, I got a couple things I want to talk to you about. Number one, continue to keep me in your prayers. I go have tests run tomorrow. They're going to scan my head and do a few more things. I'm still having really bad migraines, and it's a really tough season for me right now, but I know the Lord's going to pull me through it. He always does. And the second thing is, I just want to tell you I love you guys, and thank you for all the support, man. You guys are awesome. So let me go right into this. All right, from now to begins.com, this is what the article says. Now, this happened a couple days ago, right before what some people call Free True Feast of Trumpet started. The timing of that kind of, you know, makes you wonder. It says, Pope Francis holds special Gaia with One World Religion meeting with Krishlam co-founder, Grand Muslim, Iman Amid Al-Tabib at Vatican today. I probably butchered that dude's name. I probably didn't say it right. But this is what now the end begins dot com says. The Grand Iman and His High Holiness and His Holiness, Pope Francis, praised the efforts and initiatives of the Krishlam Higher Committee for Human Fraternity and activating and cons consolidating the values of the human fraternity document for coexistence among other human beings. The two sides also discussed the real, the real role that religious leaders and scholars play to reduce the intensity of war and division experienced by different regions around the world and confront extremism. Family life. You know, a lot of people have their eyes on Pope Francis for the false prophet of Revelation. He very well could be. But what we've been seeing the past few years, and even like the Abraham Accords was a groundwork for this in a way, man, we are seeing the push for a one world religion where all the Abrahamic faiths are going to come together, okay? And they all say they worship the, they're, they're the same God, and they all have their own ways to heaven. And we've even seen a lot of celebrities come out recently and say, you know, all religions have their own way to God. One of them being Steve Harvey. Now, this is blasphemy. We know the Bible says that there's only one way to the Father, and that is via Jesus Christ. But, you know, what Pope Francis is doing with this gentleman is they're, they're putting the groundwork together for the coming one world religion. Now, next month, I'm going to do a video about it later, there's a meeting coming. And it's, I mean, what all this is coming together, family. You know, we're going home soon. You know, when you see all the religions coming together in the world, especially the Abrahamic faiths and saying, hey, man, we got our own way to God. That's, that's blasphemy. That's not true. We're seeing a push for a one world currency under digital, like kind of Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, right? We're seeing the push towards globalism, all right? And they make all this seem like it's good, but there's a hidden agenda to it. You know, one day we all will be one, but it's when we're reigning with Christ during the millennial reign. We are all one right now in a sense, but not the way they're doing it. We're all human beings. You know, we're all under the banner of God, right? But what they're doing is they're trying to put us under the banner of the beast system and the Antichrist. And we're not going to fall for it, guys. We're going home soon. Uh, you know, this whole Chris Lam thing, if you go back about two and a half months ago, I did a video updating the Chris Lam a house that's being built. This is blasphemy, man. We are seeing the attack on religion like we have never seen before. I mean, speaking of that, you have so many false doctrines coming out. Like, you know, Mormonism has been out for a while. Y'all hear me talk about breaking it down with Brenda Lee a lot. Go back and check out her channel, man. Her testimony on how she was delivered from Mormonism is simply amazing. You have so many false gospels out. This is the work of the devil, man. And you know what? If you're naive and you look into this stuff and you don't really understand it, it seems good. It seems true until you break down the core doctrine beliefs of these things and realize it's not. So what Mr. Pope Francis is doing is just an act of blas blasphemy. Him and Amin Ahi Tabib holding this one world religion meeting like... Jesus is coming soon. That's all I got to say, man. I'll be keeping y'all updated on this. Pope Francis has got some other shady things he's doing. Family, if you want to see that article, you can go to nowtheendbegins.com. As always, I love you guys. Please keep me in your prayers about tomorrow, man. Like, you know, it's a really trying time I'm going through right now. And, you know, being out of work for a while, it's, you know, it, it's, it's rough. But the Lord, the Lord's good, man. And one good thing, it's giving me more time to spend with him. So, I mean, there's a blessing in everything. Right, family? 
As always, I love you. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Join this family. If you got any prayer requests, please drop them below. Let me give you the gospel. It's found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus Christ was born of a virgin, and Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. At the age of 30, he started his earthly ministry, and in three years, he changed the entire world forever. At the age of 33, he went to the cross and made atonement for our sin debt because we were born into this nasty sin nature. And he laid dead for how long, family? Three days, three days, three days. At the end of that third day, he busted that tomb wide open. He ascended to be with the Father. And on this channel, we know he's coming back for us soon. And we're looking for that Titus 2, 13, blessed hope. And things like what Mr. Pope Francis is doing and the Muslim Iman is doing, that points to the soon return of Jesus. You know, this one world religion is blasphemy, like I said. So before we close this video out, I'm going to go to the Lord in prayer. Like I said, please keep me in your prayers. Father God, thank you for this time together with the channel family. Father God, continue to bless us, Father God, and light our past. Be with me tomorrow, Father God, as I go to get these tests done, Father. And, you know, just continue to give me strength, Father God, to push on in these final moments and in the days. We're praying a hedge of protection around everyone watching this video and their families. But most importantly, we want to thank you, Father God, for sending Jesus to make atonement for our sins. That no matter how trying and how tough things get, Father God, we know we got that blessed hope. And that's, you know, that's awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for everything you're doing. In your precious Son, Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Well, family, I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Like I said, uh, go to nowtheendbegins.com. I'll actually link the article below in the description box. Take care. I'll see you later. Stay safe.